in this video, we are going to walk through how to send progress reports in Skyward Cumulative. So first log into your district account, double check your in teacher access in the upper left, and then open up that three bar main menu. And under the grade book options, there is a send progress report button. So we're gonna click on that feature. And this is where you'll see any previous progress reports that you've run. So we have an example there under current status, it shows as sent. We can see the different recipients down below. And there is a send progress report button in the upper right. We'll come back to that in a second. You can also see your schedule scheduled progress reports um, on that left menu and you can start a scheduled progress report from there. So we're going to click that send progress report button in the upper right, give our uh, progress report a name and let people know the attachment name, what that is going to, the progress report attachment is going to be called, then choose recipients. You can either choose students, guardians, or both. You can allow replies or you can uncheck that if you just want to send off the progress report. Then then enter in your subject line and your message, the message body of the um, email with the progress report. So once you have all of that information filled out, the name of your report run, the attachment name and your subject and message and decided your recipients, you can either schedule or you can send now. So we can go through if we click next instead of scheduling in advance, all you have to do is select your class that is going to be the required field here. And then you can scroll through and personalize exactly what you want included in this progress report that is going to be mailed out. So there's lots of options for the assignment settings and the grade period options. So you can fill all that in or you can leave it as the default. You can save and send later or you can save now. And we're going to go back and choose the schedule task option so you can send right away save it as a draft or you can schedule in advance and this is a nice feature because you can schedule automatic recurring progress reports so here under frequency we can choose daily weekly monthly or once so if you just want to schedule one report in advance you can do that here as well we're choosing the date of the month for this monthly report when it's going to start and when it's going to end so scheduling that for you know, the rest of the year you can also choose the time of day that the email will be sent so if you are scheduling in advance or you're setting up recurring reports this is where you'll do that under schedule task or you can start this from the schedule progress report um, section. So again, brings us to that next step where we are personalizing our progress reports. So we just have to choose the class at the top and then you can keep the defaults or you can change any of those settings. Then once we have saved that, it is going to be here in our run history as a scheduled um, a future report you can choose in that drop down any of those options under scheduled progress reports you'll see our new report there and we can also create a scheduled report from here a new one so this is where you can clone and add new or see, check on your scheduled progress reports you can also cancel or delete any of those reports from this list or from your uh, run history. So from that send progress report menu, that's where you can send new progress reports or check on the status of your current scheduled reports.